You are supposed to find the area of x and y, the two squares, correct or not? Can you see? This is a square. We are supposed to find the area of the square. Now, it's either we know the sides of the square, we'll definitely be able to find the area, right? What else do we need if, let's say, if we don't have the side of the square? Wonderful. If we don't have the length or the side of the square, the diagonal will do us good, correct or not? Alright. Now, if you are if you are given the diagonal, alright, would you know the other diagonal as well? Are they the same? Because they are the square, right or not? So if you know this diagonal, can I just look at half of the diagonal? Because when I see this diagonal and half of it, looking at that, what do you see? What shape is this? Triangle. It's a triangle. So are you able to find the area of one triangle? Yes. If you have the base and the height, and then times two, will you be able to find the, the area of a square? Yes. So these are the two things that you need, all right? So let's go for diagonal. Look at the diagonal on the square, all right? Do you agree with me it is 45 degrees? Why? Yes, because when you cut a square, it has to be 45, right? Now, what is this 135 doing there? What is the remaining of this 135? 45. So, my clue to you earlier on is, if you were to extend this line here, alright, will you be able to find this diagonal? And what length is it? That's right. So, if you know that the diagonal is 11.75, are you able to find the area of the... Oh, ah. See, that's always the case, right? Okay, okay, okay. Come back here. Okay? See, you have the diagonal of the square. You know, what length is this? It will be 11.75 divided by 2, correct now? So, to find the area of this triangle, it will be half times base. Base will be on this one. And your height is actually half of your base. That's why the area of a triangle is this. So to find the area of x and y, square x and y, how many of such triangles are there? There are four. So the area of the two squares will be 138.064. And you are requested to give to the nearest what, two decimal place. So your answer will be 138.06. Simple? <laughs> now what's part B? Part B asks for the perimeter of the shaded region. Now do you think you can solve right now? Yeah. You think you can solve right now? Yeah. Now, for those who yeah. cannot solve, I want you to look at part B. You are supposed to find the perimeter of the shaded part, which is this one. Okay? And earlier on, you drew a diagonal like this, correct not? Right? And you know the length of this diagonal, the one that dissects the, the square into two parts. Now, can you tell me what is this line also? Radius. Yeah. The square is the radius of the semicircle. You see? Ah, is it easy? Ah. <laughs> so, proven radius, turn it up. <laughs> so, can I say that this blue line here and this line, they are the same? Yep. So, the parameter of the shaded figure is actually half a, a circle plus the four lines. Okay, the plus the four radius one, two, three, four. So can you see now? And therefore the answer nearest uh, two decimal place, okay, will be eighty three point nine two. Once again, who gets this question correct? Wonderful.